Hi there everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Delphi Tutorials. Today we're going to look at reading from both tables in SQL. First I need you to understand a little bit about how the tables are linked. So here is a screenshot of the relationship in Access. And I am going to refer to this table here where you see the one as the parent table and the one where you see the many as the child table it, as it would just help you to understand these concepts better. So you will see where the one is in the parent table next to this field called company ID. There's a little key there. That means that this field is the primary key. And in this table, TBL company, you will see only one of each company ID. So no company ID will be repeated. It is a unique value in a field to identify each record with. And then in the child table, you will see the many and you will see the company ID appearing there as well. So this means that one company can have many activities and they are linked through the company ID field. Now what is important, it's almost like the Sims game, is that each child has to have a parent. No child can exist without a parent. Here's an example where we read from both tables. So in your question you might be asked to display fields from two different tables. And I'm going to start with a from first. So in our from, we're going to list both tables. You can see here I'm listing the table company, comma, and then the next table. If you are going to read from both tables in your where, the first thing that you want to do is you want to indicate how these tables are linked. And in an exam, you will be given a screenshot as I've shown you earlier on how they are linked. So for this example, the company tables company ID field was linked to, indicated by an equal sign, to the company ID field of the table TBL activity. And any, if you have any further queries or conditions, you will combine that with an AND and add your other conditions as usual at the back here. You will see that wherever I use the company ID field, that I preceded that with the name of the table. Because this uh, field name, company ID, appears in both tables, I need to tell SQL which one do I want to look at. Since they are the same in your select, it doesn't really matter whether you're using TBL company or TBL activity. Here is your time to practice back in the festival program. This time we're going to the multiple tables menu and completing the sub menus as described below. Here is a second activity that you can try out. And here are the last two activities for this section. You can press pause and I'll show you the solution to some of them just now. Here's the solution to the activities per company and even the menu is already indicating to you that you are going to need a group by two. So first we want to display the company ID, the name and we count the number of activities per company. The name field is in the table TBL company and the activities is in the table TBL activity. So in our from, we need to read from both tables. And when we're reading from both tables, the first thing we want to do is indicate the link. And they are linked through the company ID table. So that's what I'm doing here. But since I'm showing the number of activities per company, I want to group by the fields that are listed with that aggregate function. In this case, we listed both the company ID as well as the name of the company together with our aggregate function. So we need to group by both of these fields. Here's the menu for renting cost. I'm displaying the company ID, the name of the company. 
I'm adding all their renting costs together, displaying it as a cu currency, and I'm reading from both tables because the name field is in table company and the renting cost is in TBL activity. First thing that I need to do in my where is indicate my link and I'm calculating the total renting cost per company. So therefore I have to group by the two fields listed with the, this aggregate function. But I've also been asked to only show those who have a total renting cost of more than 3000 Since I am doing a calculation on a, an aggregate function, I'm going to have to add a having after my group by. Repeat my calculation of the renting cost and say where the renting cost is more than 3000 And the last part of this question asked me to sort these records according to their renting cost from least to most. And remember, we put our order by last in our SQL statement. So this is what I'm doing here, order by the sum of the renting cost. I could also put here order by three. And here is the last part of our select. So this is called a subquery. It's almost like having a nested if statement. This is what the user will see. They will see the learner's name, surname and grade. Only of the grade 8 learners. And then further to that, I only want to see the learner's marks. Where the learner's mark was less or equal to the average learner mark of the grade 8s. So after this equal sign, I'm putting round brackets and I'm adding another select. And this select will produce for me the average for the grade 8 learners. And this is called a subquery. You can now try this one example under the subqueries menu under subselect. Press pause, I'll show you the memo soon. Here is the memo for the subselect showing all the fields from the table activity where the renting cost was a thousand or more remember that equal sign and the number of tickets sold was higher than the average number of tickets sold and here is my sub query with my select inside of the brackets here great 12s we're really done with the select part of sql and next we will make some changes to our database using SQL code. Hope to see you soon.